Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you so much for watching. So as you can tell by the title, today is going to be all about my skincare. I just love skincare. <laughs> if you didn't know, I love talking about skincare products. I love trying out different skincare products and I just love taking care of my skin and that's always been my favorite thing um, I love makeup yes but before that I actually love taking care of the skin I mean you got only one skin you better take care of it I'm gonna be showing you guys some of my favorite skincare products and things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis for my skin I'm also gonna tell you guys a little bit about uh, the issues that I've had in the past with my skin and the products that has really helped me I think I've mentioned this in my previous video as well before you go and purchase that $60 $70 foundation make sure you invest in some good skincare products because if your skin is not looking good your makeup is not gonna look good no matter what yes I love makeup makeup can really hide your flaws and imperfections and just make you look beautiful you know what I mean like makeup has a magic to do that you know so that's why I love makeup but there are some things that makeup can't really hide so it's really important that you take care of your skin and it's not only because so that your makeup looks good but also just because it's your skin you have only one skin so it's important that you take care of that skin and um, make sure that your skin looks good even without makeup on so if you want to see some of my favorite skincare items then please keep watching so before we move on to the skin um, I'm not wearing any foundation or anything else on my skin other than I have my brows on, mascara, some concealer, and lip gloss. That's all I have on the skin today because we're going to be talking about skincare. So I'm going to start off with um, the products that I use to really take off that makeup. So I don't like makeup wipes. I feel like they're just too harsh on my skin and they really pull and tug on my skin. I just don't like it. Even the Neutrogena wipes that everyone love and rave about, I don't like them. I stopped using them. I found a better way to take off my makeup and that is with this Garnier Micellar Water right here this is what it looks like i will put this on a cotton pad and then just take off my eye makeup and my face makeup as well and it just takes off everything i find that a water or cleansing oil is so much more gentle on your skin and it doesn't tug and pull on the skin i don't know why but every time i used makeup wipes i just felt like it was drying up my skin or it was just really pulling on my skin and I didn't want that because that's not good for your skin. You don't want to get wrinkles and lines and all of that. You can get this right at the drugstore. It's really inexpensive and it just really takes up everything. So that's why I really, really like using that. You always want to make sure that you take off majority of your makeup with either a makeup wipe or a micellar water like this one that I mentioned or a cleansing oil before you go in with your cleanser. If you go in with the cleanser just straight away, you're just basically moving around the makeup and you don't really wanna do that. But next for cleanser, I love this cleanser so much. I started using this when I was in high school, so um, maybe seven or eight years ago, and I'm still using this. It's by far the best cleanser that I've ever used. This is the First Aid Beauty, what is it called? I don't even know that. It's by First Aid Beauty and it's the Pure Skin Face Cleanser with Fab Antioxidant Booster. It removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime and it's safe for sensitive skin. It's just great at taking off everything. It just removes all, like it says, all the dirt and impurities from your face. It's gentle on my skin so it doesn't really strip my skin. It doesn't make it feel dry afterwards. I don't have anything else to say other than I love this cleanser. It's just really, really great. And they actually came out with this big size now um, before they didn't have this size. But yeah, Sephora has this bigger size now, which I'm so happy about because I use this literally every single day. Also to take off my makeup, I do use the Clarisonic Mia, which is the face brush like this. Oh, the water's dripping from here. I love this face brush to just really clean my skin and like deep clean my skin and make sure like everything is off. 
like even after you use a cleanser and then you go in with this you'll see how much makeup is left like you will see it on the brush so it just shows you like how much it deep cleans your face this cleanser that I use is great it's it's amazing at taking off makeup but even then it of course doesn't deep clean because you can't really deep clean with your hands right so it's great to go in with a brush like this it doesn't have to be this one necessarily but I find that Clarisonic is the best. I don't use this every single day, I use it every other day. I will usually use it with a purity cleanser, as you can see, I'm literally out of this. Um, but this is the Purity Made Simple 3-in-1 um, cleanser for your face. I always like to use this with the Clarisonic. These two together, I find that it's amazing. Sometimes I will use these two together as well. Another thing that I use to clean my face is this. <laughs> I don't know if I should really show this to you because it's just so like ugly like it doesn't look good <laughs> but it's a soap and it's called the African black soap and it looks like this I have it in this little jar because I mean it's just it comes in a little ball of soap like this and I gotta put it somewhere so yes it doesn't look very nice but it does some amazing stuff for your skin and I get this at Whole Foods that's the only place that I have seen it and I don't know if you guys have heard about this not sure but um, I started using this I would say like about three years ago basically it has shea butter in it and some other ingredients like natural ingredients in it it's basically a pure all-natural soap it doesn't have any chemicals in it Main ingredient that I remember off the top of my head is shea butter and shea butter is great for providing a lot of moisture every time I use this my skin feels really clean like it feels squeaky clean but it doesn't feel dry you know so I really really like this soap and I get it at Whole Foods okay I forgot to tell you guys my skin type Wow. I have combination to dry skin. I tend to get more oily right over here on my forehead and a little bit on my nose and my chin. So it's basically my T-zone where I'm really oily. Well, not really oily, but where I tend to get a little bit of that oil. And rest of my face, I'm pretty dry to normal, I would say. It's not like really, really dry as it used to be. But if you were to ask me this question like a year ago or two years ago, five years ago, I would have literally told you my skin is dry AF. So pretty much here comes the main skincare and everything that I use to take care of my skin after I'm done cleansing I will go in with a serum so for serums I want to talk about two serums the first one is this one right here this is the resurface by Shawnee Darden and it's a retinol reform so I kind of use this as my serum 5% so retinol in this and then another serum is this one by clean organics this I actually just started using not too long ago probably been maybe two weeks I even um, showed it on my snapchat that I'm really really excited to trying this and honestly let me tell you this thing is bomb so good. So I'm gonna start off with this um, Resurface by Shani Darden. Shani Darden is basically an esthetician. Her main client is Jessica Alba, so, and she has amazing skin. So let me tell you how I came across this, first of all. So this one day I was just um, going through my Instagram and I came across this page and it was Shani Darden's page. I just like saw like a lot of reviews and pictures of this product right here which is her main product it's her best-selling product and then I decided to look up this product and just read a little bit about it I read so many reviews just people loving this product and how it has just changed their skin and how much it improved their texture and tone and everything like that I've always had this one main issue with my skin and it was texture I've always had these little little bumps on my skin and it wasn't pimple it was just bumps underneath the skin which kind of made it look like I have so much texture and I never really knew how to get rid of it I've tried so many things nothing worked so after everyone like really raving about this all the reviews were great it seemed like it just really worked for everyone and it has retinol in it I was like I really want to get this product and so I went on her website and I checked this one out. I saw the price. I was like, God damn it. It's really expensive. This little bottle, I saw the price. I'm like, oh my God, this is too much. Like, should I do it? I don't know. Should I do it? So I kind of just 
put it aside and I was just thinking about it, you know, like, should I do it? Is it really gonna work? I'm not sure. It was like always in the back of my head that, you know, maybe there's this thing out there that can really help my texture and these little bumps that I have on my skin. One day I just decided, you know what, I'm done with this. Like, I'm just tired of the stupid little bumps on my skin and this texture. Like, my makeup doesn't even look great. So I purchased it, I got it, I was so 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 excited um, to receive it. So as soon as I got it, I just started using it and on the back of this it says gradually build up to every other night and then every night as tolerated by your skin. So as soon as I got this, I just started using it every single night. It wasn't sensitive on my skin, it didn't irritate my skin or anything so I was like, you know what, it's good, it's a good sign. Like I'm, My skin is not sensitive to it, I can use it every night even though it says gradually build up. Let me tell you, the next morning my skin just looked amazing. I don't know what it was, but in just one night, like literally overnight, my skin's texture and like the way my skin looked and felt, it was just amazing. I was like, what the hell, this is really working. And I was just so impressed by it. I put my makeup on and my makeup just went on so nicely. It has improved like overnight, like not drastically, but for me, it was a big improvement. So I started using it every night. So I would clean my skin, put this on, and then put my moisturizer on. And then I noticed like after a week, I started getting pimples. Like I started kind of breaking out from this. I'm saying this because this was the only thing that I changed in my routine and I got scared. I'm like, wait, no, this can't be because this is really working for me. So why am I breaking out? So what I did was um, I actually emailed Shani. So what she suggested it was that I use this every other night as well as use a peel pad. Like, you know, the Dr. Dennis peel pads. She asked me to use those and then just use this every other night. She was like, you know, it, that doesn't usually happen. You shouldn't break out from it. So try maybe using this every other night. That's what I started doing. I used it every other night. And honestly, guys, let me tell you, it was great. My skin started changing. Like when I tell you my skin started changing, man, like it really, really helped, especially with the texture especially with those little tiny bumps that I had on my skin. Retinol is really great for cell regeneration and it's great for anti-aging to prevent wrinkles and fine lines and all of that. This saved my life, even though this costed me like 170. So when I saw that I'm almost out of this, I wanted to order another one. And so I was going to do that when I came across another serum, which um, I found out about about two weeks ago and it's this one right here. This is the Clean Organics Junus Professional Age Defining Vitamin C Serum, which looks like this. I came across this on Amazon actually, and I know that sounds weird. Like I've never bought skincare from Amazon. This is $17 right here, crazy. And I was really, really skeptical about it because I mean, $17 for a good serum like that's not possible you know what I mean I really didn't know if I should trust it and buy something from Amazon when it came to skincare I don't know if you if you guys out there buy anything from Amazon as far as skincare goes but I never have so I wasn't really sure if it's gonna be good and I was like well I think I should just try it out and see it's only $17 so I gave it a try I ordered it and once I started using this, I was like, hmm, maybe I can put this down. So I put this down and I started using this instead. For $17, like, what? It's an amazing serum. It's a vitamin C serum. It has all natural organic ingredients. It has anti-aging benefits and it's just really, really nice. When it comes to my skincare, I do prefer using products that have more natural ingredients in it just because I don't want a lot of chemicals on, on my skin. I'd rather go with more natural products. And this one has all natural ingredients, which is amazing. I feel like I can see it on my skin. My skin just looks a 
a lot more vibrant and it looks smoother I feel like my pores have gotten a lot smaller as well which is crazy so yes this right here honestly I would keep buying it I'm not saying that I'm not going to buy this one here and that I don't like it I definitely like it because this has definitely helped my skin this was the first thing that really helped get rid of all the texture and all those little bumps on my skin so definitely I swear by this product but I'm just saying that this for the price of $17 is just as great I feel like it's not a retinol so these two are not the same product at all and you can't really compare them because this is a retinol and this is a vitamin C serum so they are two different things but if you don't want to spend the money on this little bottle right here this retinol go with this look this up read the reviews check it out for yourself and then you can just decide if whether you want to go for it or not and same goes with this one here here, the retinal reform read the reviews about it read the claims about it research a little bit about it and see which one you want to go with and then I go in with my moisturizer so for moisturizer I love this one right here this is the fresh Lotus youth preserve face cream with super 7 complex this right here I've used this a couple of times when it comes to moisturizers I do like changing them every now and then like once I'm out of one moisturizer I will try a different moisturizer so this one I came back to so I've used this previously love it it's just a nice thick cream so I like to use this um, at night not during the daytime and this also has anti-aging benefits um, I know like I'm not old or anything like that I'm only 23 turning 24 soon just crazy um, but I've read and I've heard that it's good to start using anti-aging products when you hit 20. Hey guys, I know this is totally different. I'm so sorry, but I was editing my video and I saw there's some files I don't have. Um, I lost them. Well, I deleted them accidentally and I can't recover them. I spent hours trying to recover it nothing so i'm here trying to finish up i literally had only two more products to show you guys for my skincare so i'm just going to quickly show that to you and yeah uh once again i'm really sorry but hope you don't mind <laughs> so yeah this is the face cream that i really really love and the reason why i do use anti-aging products is because i just want to prevent any type of wrinkles and any signs of aging and all of that before Hand. it's a lot easier to prevent than correct so I have read and heard that it's good to start using anti-aging products um, once you hit 20 so I am 23 not that old I know but um, I just want to make sure that I am preventing any kind of wrinkles and any signs of aging so I do like using some kind of products that have anti-aging benefits so this one does and that's great and so does my serums so yeah moving on to eye cream I love the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment with avocado anything with avocado is amazing I love avocado toast I love avocados in my sandwiches anything with avocado is amazing <laughs> so this eye cream is really really great it really hydrates my under eyes and keeps them nice and moisturized and all of that so it's a really really good eye cream to use this is my favorite eye cream I have mentioned this in my previous haul video um, if you guys are interested I will leave that down below it's pretty old but you know it looks like this I'm literally out of it I need to get another one I'm just trying to get whatever I can the last bit um, but yeah this eye cream is my favorite I've used this for a couple of years now actually so I really really like this you can pick this up at Kiehl's and one last thing that I want to mention to you guys is this Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate I love this oil so much. I love incorporating oils in my skincare routine. I just find that they are so nice and soothing, you know? Even if you're oily, you can use some oils. Trust me, it's not gonna make you even more oily. There's a misconception that if you're oily, you can't use oils or you shouldn't be moisturizing your face too much. That's not true. So 
do moisturize do use some oils you don't have to go overboard with the oils if you're oily but you can definitely incorporate some oils even if you're oily I have combination skin like I mentioned I do get oily around here and on my forehead I think I'm pretty oily right now because literally I was editing and I've had this makeup on since like how long I think 9 a.m. this morning and currently it's like 11:30. so anyways it really helps your skin it just makes your skin really healthy and glowy I do mix this in with my moisturizer at night and put it all over my face and when I wake up in the morning I have a really nice soft healthy looking skin so if there's anything that you want to get from Kiehl's definitely pick this oil up it's amazing and I will leave all the links to every single products that I have mentioned in the description box down below if you guys are interested do check it out and I think this wraps up my skincare routine slash my favorites I'm really sorry that this is like a total change but I had to do it I couldn't recover those files it's so annoying I was like actually crying but it's okay so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed hope it was helpful let me know some of your favorite skincare products I am a skincare junkie I love trying out different skincare products so let me know what are your favorite ones and I would really like to try them out. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next one.